All right, so in this video, we're going to download and install Bolt. Of course, if you haven't already, head over to ludic.io forward slash Bolt to purchase. Um, once you do that, you'll be taken to a screen like this. And generally, you have some purchasing options here. You're going to have commercial, um, asset store, educational, and sponsored. Um, ideally, you're going to be looking at uh, either purchasing it directly through Ludic or purchasing it through the asset store. Um, I'm not sure if one is better than the other. I purchase mine directly through the Ludic store, um, but sometimes maybe getting it through the asset store can be convenient because you can download it directly into your project through the Unity asset store. Um, and of course, they have the Unity Plus Pro option if you want to go that route. So once you do that, uh, you want to download either the final or the beta version. Uh, I personally am currently using the beta version, and this is mainly due to it works well with uh, Unity 2018.3. Um, if you're using anything prior to that, you might want to just go with the recommended option here. Um, but either one should be fine for what we're doing. Um, this at the bottom is Alpha. This is Bolt 2 that's coming out. Um, there is no timeline, of course, but eventually it'll be out. Um, and you don't want to use this one unless you just want to play around with some of the new features that are going on in Bolt 2. But we are not going to cover Bolt 2. Uh, we're just going to be going over basically how to create a menu and learning some of the basics of Bolt. But a lot of this pretty much all of it will transfer over into um, version 2 as well. All right, so go ahead and download that, and then we're going to go ahead and install Bolt. All right, so now that I'm here in Unity, you assume that you have everything here. We're going to install Bolt, and the way you want to do that is pretty simple. If you have it saved maybe to your desktop, you want to go to assets, you want to go to import package, custom package, and I have the bolt here. Hit OK. And you're going to see all of these items listed here. And of course, you want to hit import. All right, so now that bolt is installed, what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and go to the setup wizard. Go ahead and go to tools, bolt, and then setup wizard and click right here. Now what's great is that it gives you this little wizard and it's going to basically say welcome to bolt. So just go ahead and hit the next key. All right, here is what they call the naming scheme. It basically gives you two different ways to see all the different terminologies built into Bolt when it comes to the nodes and when you're moving and doing transitions and everything. You have the programmer naming where it's like transform.position get versus transform get position. And you know, I prefer the human naming because that's just how I think. Um, but if you're a programmer and you kind of understand what it is saying, but you just want to see your nodes and see the flow, then this is perfectly fine. But quite honestly, um, eventually, once you've been using Bolt for a while, you will understand both of these either way. But for now, let's go ahead and click on human naming. All right. And the next thing, we're going to generate the inspector. So go ahead and click on generate. And we're going to slide this down here through all the different assembly options. We're not going to go over any of this. This is all just basic stuff. We're going to just keep this as simple as possible. And we're just going to hit next. Next is the type option. So these are just going to be your Booleans and your objects and your vector threes and all types of stuff that uh, Bolt uses. We're just going to go all the way down to the bottom and hit generate. And we're going to let this analyze and, and do its thing in the background. And I will see you on the other side. All right. So now that setup is complete, everything is good to go. Bolt has been successfully set up. We're going to go ahead and hit close. And now you're going to see everything here. And that's great. 
So what we're going to do in the next video, we're going to set up our layout so that we can actually get going.